to go over questions three and four here right now in class. Uh, question three says, find the net force below here. Uh, question number three, we have to deal with a funny angle that we have here, a 30 degree funny angle. So let's let's take that funny angle off to the side and get rid of it, right? We don't like funny angles. Every time we see a funny angle, we want to get rid of it, break it up into X and Y components so we don't have to deal with it anymore. So let's do that off to the side here. We've got 100 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees. Here's my X component, and here's my Y component. And again, my angle of 30 degrees. How am I going to find the X component there? X is the, is it that opposite side or the adjacent side or the hypotenuse? X is the, what is it? Is the adjacent side. So we're going to say cosine 30 degrees is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. Uh, X is equal to, I think that is 86.6025. Is that right? 86.6025 uh, newtons. Um, the Y component, we're going to say sine 30 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and the Y component there works out to be 50.0 newtons exactly. We box this off because that's what we do just to make it a little tidier here. And then sometimes, some of you, I like to sometimes replace this 100 newtons with 86.6025 and 50 newtons this way. And then just... Scratch this out or erase it or whatever. It's gone. It's dead to us now. And what? This is so much like the questions that we did back in Unit 1 with adding displacement vectors, right? If I was adding a displacement vector 40 meters to the south and then 100 meters at 30 degrees north of west, north of east, it's exactly what I do. At this point, I would say my x components and my y components. How much of that first vector, the 40 newtons, is x? Zero. How much of it's Y? Negative 40, somebody said. Good. Negative 40 because it's downward, right? How much of that second one, the 100 meters? The 100 meters. How much of that is X? Jordan? It's not 100, right? Because it's dead. 86. Yeah, 86.6025. And it's positive because it's to the right. We're going to add those up and get 86.6025. How much of that 100 meters is Y component? So then how much of that 100 meters is Y component there? 50. So we're going to say uh, negative 40 plus 50 gives me positive 10 uh, newtons. So now we're just going to combine these, right? We're going to say 86.6025 in 10 meters this way. The hypotenuse is going to be our resultant vector. And our resultant vector is my net force. The angle goes at the start of the vector diagram, just like it did in the last unit. R is equal to the square root of 86 squared plus 10 squared. That gives me a value of 87 newtons. And theta is the inverse tan of opposite over adjacent. 10 over 86.6025 gives me a value for theta of 6.6 .6 degrees. And we're going to make that 6.6 .6 degrees north of east. Why north of east? Because we're measuring that angle from the east axis, but yet it's north from the east axis. So north from east or north of east. You got what? You got south, did you say? I don't know what you're saying. Are you, are you good? Yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at number four now. Number four, a little bit uglier because we get two funny angles, but in the end, if we can do one, we can do two, right? Or at least we should be able to. Apparently I wasn't because I made a mistake on my answer key, but we should be able to do two if we can do one. Uh, let's take both funny angles off to the side. Here's our 50 Newton funny angle. 30 degrees. Okay, here's my 100 Newton funny angle. It's also at 30 degrees. Let's label X's and Y's. Okay, let's label X for this one. Let's label Y for this one. Okay, uh, X is going to be found by the cosine function. Uh, it's going to be, what, 50 cosine 30? That gives me a value of 
34.641. And the y component is going to be just 25 because it's 30 sine. Yeah, 50 sine 30 degrees. Now for this one, let's use a couple of different colors here. We have our x component, and we have our, let's pick a new color here for this. Let's make it this one. Oh, it's hard to see, but we have our y component. Our y component, uh, so let's go with our x component here. Our x component would be found by saying 100 cosine 30. That gives me a value of 86.6025. And our y component would be found by saying 100 sine 30, which is 50 newtons. Oh, that was a poor choice. We can barely see that, eh? 50 looks like an 80 almost. Let's box these off. And now let's do our, I might want to redraw it on here. We have 34.641, and we have 25 newtons. And then this is dead. For the other one, we have what? Um, this is 86.6025. And then we have this one, which is 50. And then this is all dead. Now we just got to add them up, right? Do our x components and our y components, add them up. We're going to say for the first one, negative 34 and negative 25. 34 to the left, 25 down. For the second one, we're going to say 86.6025 and negative 50. Okay, we add these guys up, and it's 51 point. I have 9615 there. Is that right? No, it doesn't look right. What is Um, 40 cos 30, what did you say? 50 cos 30? Oh, yeah. Okay. I made two mistakes then. Um, so what is that? 43.3012. Let's replace this then with point. Uh, 3012, and then let's replace this with 43.3012, and then let's add these up. Okay, now we're on the right track here. I don't know what that is because because I, I did it wrong on my answer key. What is that? Oh, is it, it's 43, isn't it? 43.3012, 43.3013. That's just a rounding thing, right? The reason it didn't work out to be exact. We add this up. This is easy. Negative 75. Now what? Yeah, right angle triangle. We got 43 over this way. 43.3013. And we have 75 down this way. And there's our result in vector. Is this, a, is this a good right angle triangle vector diagram? Yeah, head to tail, right? That's my goal, right angle triangle vector diagram. I got it, and it's uh, drawn head to tail. My angle is drawn right here, and this is going to be my resultant vector, my net force. R, the net force, or R, is going to be found by the Pythagorean theorem. We end up getting, I don't know, because mine was all wrong. I made two mistakes in there on mine. What is it, 87? Uh, it should be two digits, correct? 87 newtons, and my angle will be the inverse tan of 75 over 43. What does that equal? 60? Uh, we're going to say 60 degrees. What, what of what? Somebody said south of east, is that right? Yep. We're measuring it from the east, but yet we're going south from the east. 
So it is 60 degrees south of east.